Hello and welcome everyone. I'm Nick. Let's start a new series. Linda Brown, A New Beginning. Season 1, Episode 1, A New Beginning. What the hell are you doing here? How dare you follow me? Listen to me, don't leave me Linda. Why? Too late, Kevin. But babe, leave me alone, Kevin. I have a flight to catch. Don't you dare walk away from me, Linda. Or what? You forcefully reject him. You avoid him politely. No, I want drama. You forcefully reject him. Who on earth do you think you are? Nice slap. Hello Bruno. Looking good? If you don't want any trouble, I suggest you walk away right now. Who the hell are you? I'm not going anywhere. I strongly suggest you reconsider. I wouldn't want my friends here to get violent. Okay, so you're that kind of guy, huh? I'm leaving, but this is far from over, Linda. I doubt that. Same goes for you, Slick. Bye, Kevin. Are you okay? Uh, what? Are you hurt? Oh, yes. I mean, no. I... I can't handle myself. Thanks for the help, Bruno. Well, thank you, sir. I don't know what I would have done if you hadn't showed up. That's what I'm here for. I assume that a damsel in distress such as yourself would need some help. It's a pleasure to meet you, miss. Linda Brown, damsel in distress. Bruno Freire, knight in shining armor. Well, thank you, Bruno. But I have a flight to catch and I'm already running late. I hope I see you again. Maybe you'll save me some other time. Bye, Bruno. Sir, your jet is ready. Coming, sir. Linda Brown. I'll need her number. Let's go. I should let Cynthia know I'm on my way. Rio, here I come. I finally made it. About to take off. Great, I can't wait to have you here. Everything smooth? Yeah, I'm gonna tell her about this Kevin incident. Well, not everything. As usual, Kevin followed me. Wow, what a prick. Agree with Cynthia. There's no other choice. I'll tell you everything as soon as I get there. Can't wait to see you. Gotta go. Smiley face. Me too. Gotta go. See you tomorrow. Linda, I can't believe you're here. Hi, Cynthia. Oh, this is so great. It'll be like college all over again. You're right, just like college. But way more fancy. This house is amazing. 
Thanks for coming all the way down here, Linda. Come on, girl. Did you honestly think I was gonna miss your wedding? And I can't wait to hear you sing again. Me too, actually. I can't wait either. I'm really not in the mood right now. Yeah, I can't wait either, of course. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to do that. I think that's exactly what I need right now. Everyone in New York has been talking about you. It seems like you're already quite the star. I wish. Excuse me, Cynthia. I need to borrow you to go over the guest list. Oh, sorry. I didn't know we had a guest. Oh my god, it's real! You're the one, Linda Brown! Thank you, Drosio. Cynthia told me you were coming! I'm such a fan! Drosio, come on, don't overwhelm her! Not yet, at least. Linda, this is Drosio, my housekeeper, best friend, confident, and also the one putting together all the details for my wedding. Wow, sounds like you're really something, Trosio. Oh, he is, and more. I hope we have some time to get to know each other. I'll stay two more days after the wedding. Only two days? Come on, you should stay here a little longer. She has a life. It's elsewhere, right? The house will be so empty after the wedding. Milton and Cynthia will be off on their honeymoon. I'm sure Cynthia wouldn't mind putting the house to good use. Why not? We'll see. Well, I can't promise you that, Drosio, but we'll see. Eh, uh, well, I'm not sure. Come on, Linda, you could sure take some time off your love life. Love life? Oh, I love to gossip. Please count me in. Hey, Drosio, give us a moment, please. I'll be right with you. Of course, lovely to meet you, Linda. Bye, Drosio. So, what was that deal with Kevin back in New York? I need to know what happened. Well, he followed me to the airport yesterday and was acting crazy. You're kidding. I've never seen him like that before, Cynthia. Some random guy had to come defend me. Well, at least Severly isn't dead after all. But what happened between you two, Linda? So you tell her your story with Kevin. Yeah, I want to know this. It all started back in New York a couple of days ago. Don't take too long, Kevin. We're gonna be late for dinner. One minute, please. I'm almost out of the shower. Phone ringing. Wait, what? That's Kevin's phone. They must be wondering where we are. I should let them know we are running late because of Kevin on the bus. Stephanie? Who is this? Who the hell is Stephanie? Hello, love. Hi, Kev. Last night was awesome. Free tonight? Dinner with friends. Tomorrow, your place. As usual, dinner with friends. Really? I can't believe it. Linda, what are you doing with my phone? I'm checking your message, Kevin. I can't believe you did it again, you bastard. What? I didn't do anything, babe. Let me explain. Your phone explained enough. Stop lying. Stephanie, you broke my heart, Kevin. Babe. Thank you, Kevin. Get the hell out of right now. God, I can't imagine what you went through, Linda. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'd rather not talk about it anymore. I think I'll go to the beach for a while. Do you mind? Of course not, Linda. Go, relax. I'll see you later. And Linda? Yes? You're way better off without him. Thanks. Now, 
where all those swimsuits I bought. One piece? Hmm, a bit old fashioned. Come on, Linda, you're in Rio. It's actually quite nice. Rather than this one. That's more like it. And that music, where is it coming from? Ha, oh, what is this? There's a note. Who put this here? It says, Welcome to Brazil. Look for the necklace. Necklace? What necklace? Hey there, necklace. Wow, that must cost a fortune. Who could it be? This is all too much for my first day. Now let's go relax on the beach. Who's there? Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And see you guys on our next journeys.